Yo, what's up? In today's video, I'm going to show you the new Monkey Pixel Studio Office. It's not done by any means at all, but it's better done than perfect. So I want to show you the first version of our new office. So my name is Damien Cooper and welcome to Monkey Pixels Curves. As I've just said, this isn't done by any means. And the disclaimer here, the first thing that comes to mind when there's changes to be made is the audio because I haven't soundproofed this room at all. In my previous office, I just slapped a lot of foam onto the walls, which I really do want to avoid in this space because it just looks too good to just destroy the looks. So I'm actually having a professional come over by the end of the year and take care of this entire room because right now it's really echoey. In my last little studio and office, I had a small room in my apartment and I basically just used it as a studio, which was fine and it worked out quite well for the most part, but it was really tiny, it was small, everything had its place I couldn't move anything around I couldn't work in there and I only had one set to show you guys because it was just way too small so now I'm glad that I moved in here and now I have far more space and there's so much more cool things about this office compared to my old one so let me give you a small tour so first of all this is a lot bigger than the one that I had before so now I can actually use this as an office as well as a YouTube studio and I'm not the only one working here because I have have a full-time employee now who is behind the camera shout out to Franco and he can work here as well and if you turn around and show this side of the studio so this is the door from outside so you come in here but this is also where I live so if you enter this door this goes to my private apartment so this way I'm really close to work but it's also two separate apartments because this one has its own door and my apartment has its own door as well. So even if I'm not here, Franco can still work here. If I have clients over, they don't have to go through my living room and they can just come in here and it's basically a separate small studio apartment. All right, let's turn around again. Right here, and I could have just stayed there. So right here, this is my shelf with all my lenses and usually there's the gimbal and the C70 up there as decoration for the background, but now we're filming on this one. And this one is pretty cool because it's really space efficient. And in here we have a lot of stuff like monitors, batteries, small stuff to be rigged out sliders and there's a lot of organized cable boxes, cables, GoPros, audio, rigging, filters, that kind of stuff. So this already covers a lot of my equipment, which is pretty cool. But I also have a storage unit in my actual private apartment for bigger light stands and lights and all that kind of stuff because it doesn't really fit in here and it would just destroy the overall look a little bit. If we look at this corner, this is basically our chill area with some bean bags and our couch. And this is where sometimes when we have smaller meetings, this is where we just sit down and chill. Or if I just wanna take a nap, I'll just nap on this couch. But it also doubles as my, right now, favorite YouTube set. And this is me sitting on that couch right here. I have my light and this light is pretty cool. It's the Godox VL150. It's nothing really special about it. It's a small softbox, but it is on a light stand that moves around with wheels. And I will link this one down in the description below because it was fairly cheap on Amazon, but I really do like it. So for the audio setup, when I'm recording here, I have my light stand and the light stand is attached to a small boom pole and a Zoom F6 recorder. So I'm always recording externally, although I could just record into the camera directly, but I feel like the sound is a little bit better when recording externally. And if I'm recording by myself, I don't have to check for levels because it's 32 bit float. So I have a lot more leeway. And also here is the Canon C300 Mark III. And this is the camera that I'm recording most of these YouTube studio heads with. I have a small monitor here so that I can see myself when I'm all by myself in the studio sitting here. And that works fairly well. And the good thing about this is this is a filmmaker's office. So if you have these things standing around, it just looks cool as decoration as well. Like this one, for example, I hardly ever use this light. I sometimes actually do for night shots, but most of the times it's just here for a little bit of decoration purposes. Now let's move on to the rest of the small office. So this is where I sit. 
This is my desk. It's a stand-up IKEA desk and well, it's all right. The good thing about it, it's fairly big. It fits perfectly into this corner and I'm working on my 27 inch iMac, my 43 inch LG monitor because I just like to have a lot of space for my timelines and that kind of stuff. And I have RAID system sitting behind this. So this is where I work. I have a little shelf right here where there's a couple things in there. Like just basically needs cables for my iPhone, some hard drives, you know, just essential stuff that I need and some boring office stuff. Moving further into the office, this is basically my favorite desk of the office. This is from a company called Autonomous AI. And this is a pretty cool stand-up desk. This is much higher quality than my IKEA desk. So the IKEA desk wobbles when it's standing up. Uh, this one doesn't. This one is really sturdy. It looks good. It's way quieter and I can really recommend this. Right now, this has a couple of functions. Number one is when I'm getting sent something so I can do my unboxing over here. I can just test out new rigs. Like whenever I'm working on something that isn't computer related, I basically just raise this desk and I do it right here. The last couple of weeks, Belle has used this desk because she came over to edit here most of the times and we kicked her out just for the purpose of this video today. <laughs> um, and there's also a third reasoning for this desk and that is to double as another YouTube studio set. And the cool thing about it is I can film in both directions. I can sit here and then I have my lenses and all that office in the background. But if I sit on the other side, I also have that little corner which looks cool. So that's two more YouTube sets for me. Plus, I can also do a little bit of stand-up stuff. So, for example, my C70 rig video I filmed here. So, I can actually show you the camera while working and doing some stuff on the table. Moving further into the office. Well, that sounds like it's a really big place, which it's not. But this is where Franco currently works. And this is the cheapest desk you could find. It's basically just two IKEA shelves with an IKEA board on top. And I will replace this with one of these later this year. But for now, this has to work because again, we've been so busy with filming, being on production, going on production, no time. He's currently working on the M1 MacBook Pro. I just got him that one recently because we need it for another job next week. It's not 100% ideal. I have a full video on this one, but it works for now, especially with the Canon C70, which we're shooting a lot of these YouTube videos with. It works like a charm. Right now, he doesn't have his own RAID system. We don't have a server set up yet. So we have an external hard drive that I'm just plugging into my computer and I'm just transferring him footage and back and forth. That works fairly well for now, but again, we will be doing a whole new setup for this when the time comes. He's working on a 27 inch LG monitor. I really do like this one. Great colors, great resolution. And basically that's pretty much it from the office. In there, there's a bathroom. So that comes in pretty clutch because again, it's separated to my private apartment. So that was something that I was really looking forward to that I don't have to share a bathroom with clients or employees or whatever comes my way. And that's pretty much it right now and that is the ugliest part about this apartment is this area right here this is where we charge everything and since we do have a lot of different cameras lights and all that kind of stuff it's just a mess so right now we just have a couple of power outlets and we plug everything in there i need to find a better solution for this i have something in mind and maybe i'll even do a video about this because if that works out the way i want it to that's going to be pretty damn cool but right now it's just a mess it looks ugly this is where we charge all our stuff about the lighting in here there's nothing special right now. Some of these lights are smart already, but I will replace all of the lights in here with smart lights that are also colored so I can just easily use them for filming in here and change the mood of everything. But for now, I haven't had the time because we're leaving in two days. Initially, I wanted to do the whole thing when it's finished, but again, like this will take a while because we're abroad for a long time for a big production. So I thought to show you the current state of the office and then basically progress with you guys. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about this office space, then just leave some comments down below. 
And if you want to see more, obviously, hit the subscribe button. And I hope you like this little kind of spontaneous tour of the office. And I hope to see you on the next one. That was a one take. Yeah. Two takes, basically. But... Yeah, 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 yeah.